everyone, Dan here from Dan's Tech World, and today I've got a really awesome app to show you guys. It's called AirDroid, and we'll launch into the bad boy here. It basically just sets up a wireless connection from your device to your desktop, and it sets up a complete desktop interface for all of your files and all of your content from your Android device. Now everything is connected here. It is a short process to set up everything. You just need to set up an account and play around with a few things. But once everything is set up, you can then launch into your desktop. There will be a link in the description below to check out this application. But basically all I do now is close down the application and lock my device. It is still running in the top left corner as you can see there. Everything is set up now. All you have to do is go to web.airdroid.com. Make sure your profile is set up and it will launch into this desktop here. It will have a login screen before you jump into this. But this is basically a desktop version of my device. In the top right corner here I can see what my device is what Android version it's running. Uh, I can also see the space available for my internal memory and my SD card. And then I have a toolbox over here. And this allows me to drag and drop files into my phone wirelessly. And that is a really useful feature to have. I also have a search option along the top here to search through my device. I have four different desktops to play around with and add new widgets and whatever else in the background. And then I also have the messaging system. So I can actually message people through this desktop version and it will send a message from my device. It's a really useful feature to have and allows you to basically do everything in the one spot. This is my Android device all in a desktop setup. So extremely easy to play around with. I can also make phone calls and that will directly transfer to my device and then I can pick up my phone and play around with it and call people, do whatever I'm gonna do. Uh, there's also notifications here, uh, there's your profile and then you can turn everything off. I can check out my call logs, uh, I can check out my apps in a really nice interface here and I can go through and delete them or update them or do whatever I have to do. And it's just a nicer interface to play around with. It's a lot nicer than deleting it on your Android device. I can also check out my contacts here and it will display everything. And then a great thing is checking out all of my files. And that's all of the files on my SD card and my internal memory. I can play around with everything from here. And I can check everything out in a really nice interface. I can also check out photos here, which is obviously specific for all of my photos. It's a bit of a nicer interface and I have a few other options to share or set as wallpaper or whatever. Uh, you can also set screenshots and I can play around with my music here and this is a really great thing. I can search for the iPod Touch World for example and it'll bring up the two files that I'm allowed to use on my channel. I can then stream that wirelessly through my computer from my device and that is playing in the background there as you can see. I can then close that down, do whatever I want, close down that and play around, type out a Word document, do whatever I've got to do and that's all streaming wirelessly from my device. Another really cool thing that blew my mind is the camera feature. I can actually stream to this service from my phone. So as you can see, there I am filming. And there is a slight bit of lag, but it's amazing that I actually have this ability from this desktop application. It's a really crazy feature. I also have the option to check out my videos here, again in a really nice interface specific for my videos. Check out your ringtones as well, play around with them. And down the bottom here you can have multiple windows open and it is exactly like a desktop version of your Android. And I'm assuming that's how they got the name AirDroid, a really great concept and overall probably one of the best applications I've played around with on my Android device. Everything runs really smooth and it's just a really awesome application. It gives me all my details in the bottom right here. Uh, it tells me what network I'm connected to, the Wi-Fi strength, and also my battery percent as well. But that's basically the extent of this application. I feel like they've done a really great job with this, and there are a multitude of features available in here. I'd like to know in the comments below what your favorite feature of this application is. Let me know what you really enjoy doing on AirDroid, and let me know about some hidden features maybe that I have no idea about, or that not many people have really known about or made public. I'd really like to know what you can do with this application and what you can do with the desktop version. It's a really great concept and I think they've done a great job here. So let me know what you think in the comments below of this app and my content. Also please make sure to show that like button some loving and please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to try and add more content to this channel very soon. Anyway guys, enjoy the rest of your day and peace out.